Hello, my name is Thomas and I'm going to do a presentation on my social intranet. So, we're just going to go to the online live site and show you what, how it looks like first. So we go to intrapages.com and what you see here is just the public version, so I'm going to go to the login uh, link here. And here you have four different options. You can choose to log in using registration and then you need to enter your information and you will get an email and confirm your password and confirm your email and then you can log in. Or you can choose to log in using the social sites here. Um, so if you have Facebook you can log in using Facebook. Uh, Intrapages will read your information and create an account automatically for you. Um, so in this case I'm already logged into Facebook but if, if you do this the first time you will get a prompt from Facebook allow, uh, which asks you to grant uh, intrapages to read that kind of information. But I'm already logged in and I'm already registered on this intrapages site so I'm just going to click here and I will get right into the site. So the user I'm using now is actually an administrator. That means that I have this option here and I can change the settings and the look and feel of the site. So if, if we, as you can see here there are lots of sections here uh, each, uh, each of these sections here, I, I call them apps they actually serve different purposes so there's a workflow app, there's a photo app uh, there's lots of apps here for, for different things and as an administrator you can choose to disable these and do not show them here. So, so if you just want a site for instance with uh, you know allowing users to download files uh, you can just enable that section. So this is actually what I call the the, the landing page. Well, this is uh, as I see a social site is that most if, if you look at Facebook for instance most people uh, are only on the first page. They don't navigate away from the first page. So, so I try to keep as much information on the first page as possible and from there uh, try to, to redirect them to, to different uh, other sections uh, by, by using uh, these kind of posts for instance that if there are some new content added to team rooms they will be notified on the first page. Uh, so, so basically when users come here they, they should not need to navigate to another site to check if there is new content. You, you should find all that information on the first page. Okay so, so this works a bit like Facebook. It's, this is a, a new stream uh, that is the same for everyone. Um, Facebook doesn't work like that. All streams are personal but in intrapages uh, th this stream is the same for everyone. So I can actually type something here uh, testing and I could add a link to that to a website and I can click share here and that will create a new news post here. Um, as I have created this, this also shows up in my profile here. So if I go to my profile now, you can see that this post is also here on my wall. Uh, if I create something here, testing from my wall, it will show up here, but it will not show up in the public stream. So that's a bit, a little bit how it works. There is also a new stream in the team room, so we, for instance if I go to a team room called just for fun here, there is a, a new stream here as well. And if you post something here, it is stays in this team room, it's not shown in your wall, it's not shown on the public stream, it's only in this team room. And to see this you have to be a member of this team room. Okay. So that's a bit how it works. You can, there is also a search function here, so I can actually type uh, if I want to find some persons or find some contents. I can click here and 
you can see that it will show up content here based on the character I've typed and it could be a user, it could be other kind of content so it shows up as well or I can just uh, type uh, and click enter and then we'll get results uh, full text search results okay that's a little bit how, how the site works let me show you how to set this up um, what you need to do is go to intrapages dot open mtf dot org and click this download latest released link when you do that you will get a zip file and when you unzip that file uh, it contains an mtf file and that is uh, a file that is a template in uh, notes so if I go to my IBM notes client here I already have, already have that file downloaded so I'm going to go to file application new and here I have this uh, intrapages template that contains all the code and all the information that you need to, to have this social internet up and running so I'm just going to name it something here uh, let's call it demo intranet so what I'm doing here now is that I'm creating a new file called demo internet nsf on my local machine so I will not try this on a server now I'm just going to test it on my, my uh, notes client here so I'm go just going to click OK here and the file is created and it's opened to the first home screen and from here you can see the second tab here is the setup so down here if you read you should actually follow this guide here but I've already done a lot of these things so I don't need to do them so all I need to do now is create a new user so I'm going to create my user oh sorry Thomas I'm just going to use A as a password I click OK and I'm going to click this as well create the full text index OK so if I go to content here you can see that this all it contains here is the user that I just created and if I go to the user view here you can see my user and you can see here that this an admin user so all users you create from the notes client is actually becoming an ad admin and you actually do not need to do anything more uh, than set up the first user from the notes client the rest you can do from the web browser so what I need to do to, to test this now in the web browser I need to open this in Domino designer so I'm just gonna right click here and do open in designer and I'm going to click this which is preview web browser so as you can see here it opens my NSF file that I just created on my local machine which is localhost and it presents me with the login default login screen which is this registration here as I have already created the user so I can just log in here so I'm just going to use my email address and my A password and click login <laughs> so the internet is actually ready now you can uh, do everything from a web browser now you don't have to use the notes client anymore so if I want to add more sections here at the left I go into the admin section here and choose apps and choose all and I'm also going to go to settings here and type a name for my internet so we'll, let's just call this uh, Volvo internet and I click OK so as you can see here up here I have the the name for the internet that I just typed and all the different sections here are added so I can start adding content right away I could add news and I can actually test this and see that 
what you should do when you set up this the first time is just test this try to add an image and see so that everything works because there are some settings on the server that you need uh, to, to add to allow uh, some uh, Java restrictions so so just test these things and make sure that they work before you send the link to to the users okay so if we go back to the notes client here we can see that if I go to the old content here that the there are two posts created here two post documents and these are the ones I've created here so uh, as users starts to add content you will see them show up here but you actually do not need to to use the notes client anymore what could be good is use if you if some users report problems or something if some users have problems you can check the log view here that will show you uh, different errors that show uh, this is just the first error that shows up because the full text index was not on uh, but you can follow along with the arrows here and uh, so that's pretty much it uh, <coughs> the, the internet is up and running and you can set up as many as these as you like you can set up another demo internet too if you want to have different users and different content so uh, I hope you try it out and uh, let me know what you think and uh, if you have any problems don't hesitate to contact me Thank you.